17,500 miles is uh, just enough speed to get into orbit. You'd actually need to go much faster in order to escape Earth's gravity and, and uh, travel some to uh, Mars. And that's, uh, that would be over 25,000 miles per hour. Over. Well, that, that just kind of comes down to um, what you consider the time on that shuttle. And so uh, most, I think most of us would continue to use uh, Earth time to stay in sync with mission control back here on Earth. Over. Well, we have people on the Earth. My friends and colleagues on the Earth are definitely training for future missions. Um, I've trained for two and a half years for this mission, and so right now I'm just focused on doing my very best job on the science and maintenance and all the things that I'm doing for this mission. Over. My favorite food up here, I would have to say, is uh, the barbecued uh, beef um, and also uh, beef steak. Over. Well, that's a great question. There's lots of pieces of space junk up here from spent rocket pieces to uh, busted up satellites. Um, NASA and uh, the uh, military track that orbiting debris and let us know any time that there's a possibility that, uh, that a piece of junk could hit the space station and, and uh, so that we can move the space station out of the way um, in preparation. And uh, we're, we're open to ideas on how we can reduce the problem. Over. Um, that's a great question. You know, I think that uh, with with the uh, the proper training, um, you know, with people with uh, disabilities on the Earth are able to get around and and uh, and uh, work and and to have fun and uh, do all the things that uh, that um, other folks are able to do. And it would just be a matter of uh, figuring out um, how to how to do those same things in space. Over. Well, one form of art is taking photos, and so we take lots of photos up here just to try and capture the beauty of the, the Earth below us. Um, and I have some of my kids' drawings up on the wall in my crew quarters. Over. Well, I, I think it would uh, re depict the environment um, around whoever made that art. You know, I think uh, our art on the Earth generally depicts uh, nature and animals and, and those sorts of things, so I figure it would probably be a landscape. Over. Yes, there sure are. We have a keyboard up here, a guitar, um, and some other instruments. I even brought one of my own, but I haven't uh, started playing it yet. Over. Yeah, I think uh, you're absolutely right. I think that uh, art can take various different forms, and uh, when you're at the peak of your uh, discipline and uh, pouring your effort and soul into uh, what you're doing, um, it really can represent an art. Over. Well, I think uh, we just need, we need to focus on education. I think the sciences and technology, mathematics, um, all of those things are very important. 
Um, and I think art is, a, uh, is an important part of that as well, that uh, we should be focusing on uh, broad education and allowing people to find out what they have a passion for and to pursue those. Over. Well, we have lots of different music up here. We have some classical music and uh, rock and uh, pop and all sorts of music. So it really just depends on uh, what we're in the mood for. Over. Well, I like lots of different uh, types of art. My wife is a uh, music teacher, an uh, orchestra director, and so I love listening to, to music. Um, but I also like uh, drawings and uh, paintings and photos. Over. Well, we haven't used it yet. We've only got a few more pots so of, uh, of coffee grounds to, to use, so I'm uh, saving those for a special occasion, and I'm looking forward to having my first cup of Space Espresso. Over. I'm looking forward to uh, having an apple the next time we have a delivery. Over. Uh, it is within my lifetime. I can't wait to see somebody do that, and I really hope that uh, um, maybe one of you in the audience today who, who is uh, participating in this Space Jam is that first person. Over. Well, right now the moon is not in our plans, uh, but I think that there's a lot of value of going back to the moon to learn how to live and work on a, on a, um, a different uh, um, planet-like body.